Hi everyone, Dr. Susan Brown here, director of the Center for Better Bones, and I have great news. It looks to me like there is a new way to test for bone strength, a really important way that's going to replace the DEXA tests. Over the past four decades, I have worked with thousands of women and seen many women terrorized by a low bone density score all the time knowing that those tests had many errors, many problems, many shortcomings, particularly being inaccurate for people of light weight, small bone, short stature. Everyone knows it, the scientists know it, but they haven't found a better technique to measure, actually to figure out bone strength. Now there is a way that we're working with here at the Center for Better Bones. It's an ultrasound technique called REMS. It's a very simple non-radiation technique that measures both bone density and bone fragility. That's the one thing we'd like. Can we know how fragile our bones are? That means how likely they are to fracture. This is a great expansion to our Better Bones six-step solution because the first step is always to know exactly what's happening with your bones. I'm delighted to say that there's several doctors in this country, particularly Dr. Andy Bush of North Carolina and Dr. Kim Zambito, also of the West Coast. These are orthopedic surgeons who've taken on this new testing. They're joining me in St. Louis to measure a whole number of people to scan them with this new REMS ultrasound testing. We'll be in St. Louis October, what, 25th to the 28th. I'll be lecturing on the 28th if you can come by. This is an opportunity to know your real bone strength. We're doing, we have a great deal of interest in this technology. And if you get a chance, join us in St. Louis, October 25th to the 28th. We'll be going to other cities perhaps. You can certainly get on our mailing list, but this is the first opportunity where people, the public as a whole, can have the opportunity to get this new way to measure the true strength of their bone. So. I hope to see you there. And if you've got a second, let me just show you what some of my clients said about this. Because it's been decades that I've been concerned about how much worry was generated by these bone density tests. One client, Carol, who was a very she was, who was under five feet, four feet, 11 inches, and only weighed 110 pounds. Even everyone knows bone density tests as we do them by radiation are not effective for short people. She's finally got the echo light. She was so relieved because her bone density was much better on the echo light than it was by the DEXA. And in fact, her fragility score was good. She had quite strong bones. She writes, she wanted me to know that I feel like I'd been held hostage by the DEXA scan scores for the past 13 years. For 13 years, she's been tested. Every year, she was told to take one drug, to take another drug, to take a different drug. She always refused the drugs because they just didn't feel right to her. She didn't see herself in that kind of a serious situation. She said, these drugs impacted me emotionally and physically, and I really resent it. So grateful for more accurate testing, especially for a small person like me. And certainly anyone who has small bones, anyone short stature, anyone low weight, I think it's very clear to say you're not getting a fair shake with the DEXA bone density. But also, we see people of normal weight who also cut the fragility score that comes with this REMS testing is really helpful because it can detect the architecture of the bone to see the likelihood you will fracture. Another, another client was Cindy, who was, who was 68 years old, just weighed 110. And she was 5'4", so she was quite thin. And actually, again, she was told that she had serious osteoporosis of the spine, minus 4 T-score. When she actually got the REMS scanning technique, she had actually much stronger bones and a very, re, a very reduced, hardly any risk of fracture. Only a one to 5% risk of spinal fracture over the next five years. So her bones were found to be very strong, even though she was, had such a low score on the, bone, t on the t typical bone density test that her doctors kept telling her she had to take drug therapy. And she writes that she was just delighted to find this out. And then there is one other client who was, who was 150 pounds. She was a, a really an average weight kind of person, average height. But she also had a, they, a DEXA, this bone density scan by our standard techniques, of three minus three. 
Again, year after year, she was told she should take drugs. She wrote a long statement how saying she resisted the drugs. She instead came to the Better Bones program, worked it step by step, was doing exercise, alkalized, did the supplements, felt a lot stronger, was confident in herself. And then she traveled eight hours just to get this new test. And this new test showed that her bone density was actually not minus three, but only minus 1.8 and her fragility was very low, so that she had strong bones and her bone density was much better than it was said to be by the other testing. This is important to me because when I worked with this client, I saw very little risk factors for fracture. And I, like her, felt there was something missing. So she went and got this new REMS testing, and sure enough, her bones were not fragile, were not seriously fragile in any way, and the bone density score was much higher. Both all of these individuals have said, wow, what a relief. And you know, that's important to me because the way we treat osteoporosis induces fear, and fear in turn damages bone. And so we have to find a better way to assess one, what's really happening. How fragile are your bones? How likely are you to fracture? We need to find that out. And then we all need to develop strong programs to stay stronger longer. Because building bone health generally is about staying stronger longer. It's a whole body issue. And I'm happy to say the Better Bone Solution is the first program to really take a whole body approach, recognizing that we need to build overall total body health in order to be fracture free for the rest of our lives. Take care and if you have an opportunity, join us in St. Louis, October 25th to the 28th. We'll be doing a lot of testing of this new way to scan for bone strength called the REMS technology.